Oh, Stan. You do what you're told. You say frog, you eat a fly. From the top again. Exactly. What happened at Luke's tonight? A man died. What are you, a comedian? Huh? Funny how that happens when people get too close to you. It's not stopping you. Gentlemen, a word. Problem? You tell me. Hey, we just want to chat with you, man, huh? Right, and that, I suppose, explains the jewelry. Well, those are, those are for his own protection. Uh-huh. And just in case we get a judge without a sense of humor, I think I'll be sitting in on the Q&A. You know, you guys have been yeah. poking the Constitution in the ribs all evening. Let's not blow it. What's this? Your right to an attorney. I would remind you of your right to remain silent, but I think you have that one down cold. And why do I need an attorney? Your role in tonight's shooting. Yeah, victim. And you could be facing assault charges. For what? For your attack on Nicholas Cassidy. Uh, you're not going along with this, too. Well, you are mighty handy with the switchblade, and you practically put your initials in the boy's throat. And you're supposed to be straight up. Well, I'm telling you, it won't stick. Hey, if you got another version, let me hear it. No? Escort Mr. Morgan to interrogation. My pleasure. Let's go. Well, well, well. Looks like I arrived not a moment too soon. What are you doing here? Well, Mr. Morgan needs an attorney, and it looks like you folks need a lesson in justice. Those off now. Miss Jensen, a word. He poses no threat to anyone in this room or to himself, which is more than I can say for some folks. What are you doing here? I thought you weren't interested. Well, I'm just pursuing a pastime. Cop watching. Hey, counselor, watch away. We've done everything by the book. And what book would that be, Detective? Mind comp? Uh, justice, you're pushing it. You think this is pushing it? You wait until Edward Quartermain comes crashing through that gate. He can pull more strings than a harp quintet. And when he finds out you're holding his grandson on charges of... Oh, excuse me, detectives, what were those charges again? Premeditated heroism, saving a life Try without a license? Try with a deadly weapon. Cops arrest miracle worker. When the DA gets hold of that headline over his morning coffee, he's going to puke his croissants. All we're doing is I'm an investigation. I'm well aware of what you're trying to do, Miss Jensen. Hmm. You have a shooting, you don't have the shooter, you have the target. And you know full well you can only hold Jason, oh, no later than tomorrow. And you're hoping you can lean on him, he can give you something you can use. Well, it's very industrious of you. It also happens to be quite illegal. Now, you can begin atoning for your sins by giving me a few moments alone with Mr. Morgan. Okay, five minutes. And then? All we want to do is talk to the man. Be my guest. <clears throat> Officers. So how are they treating you? Like cops. This wasn't your idea. No, it wasn't. Edward volunteered me. He's the only man I know who can beg and bully at the same time. Yeah, only if you let him. You been in touch with Valentine? He's busy. Doing what? Running for his life. Why, because someone took a shot at you? Because somebody missed. Do you know Marino? Okay. Tonight was Marino's work. And he was messy, but he would not have made his move unless he was sure Sonny was gone for good. And there was only three people besides me who knew. Brenda, Mike. And Valentine. Yeah. And by now he knows I'm not dead and he's afraid. Should he be? Ask a silly question. <laughs> what are you doing? If you're gonna be working for me, you're gonna need a retainer. You're kidding me? If I'm working for you, I'm gonna need a bulletproof vest. How does a hundred thousand sound?
keep your money, Jason. I don't think I'm ready to cross that line that Valentine crossed. Okay. Have a good night. Well, I said I wouldn't take your money. I didn't say I wouldn't take your case. Well, maybe you shouldn't want to stay respectable, and I understand that. Bite your tongue. ELQ, respectable? Don't let Edward hear you say that. Uh, it'd break his heart. Look, justice is a constitutional right. It's not a reward for good behavior. I'll handle this one situation for you, and then we'll see. Fair enough. Okay, we've got two choices. A, we're here to help the investigation, and you wouldn't mind hanging around for an hour or so and pretending to answer a few questions. Or B, I can challenge the way they brought you in here, the way they questioned you, the way they eat corn on the cob. What's, what's better? Well, A is more subtle. B is a lot more fun. Morgan, you got a phone call. Well, I wonder who could be calling you here. Must be a fan. Yeah. Hey, Morgan. Heard about the party at Luke's. Didn't go according to plan, did it? Nope. Has the good news reached Paris? Did you get anything? Not what we were looking for. Damn! Too bad, detective. Another 30 seconds, you might have had it. What, counselor? A trace on whoever was calling Mr. Morgan. Detective, is that true? Dara, please. Uh, what if it is? What of? Detective, listening in on my client's personal phone calls is not only illegal, it's very impolite. Hey, because of your client, there's a kid in the hospital and a body in the morgue. Now, what does Miss Manners say about that? Get me out of here. Okay, plan B it is. Right now. Make that plan C. Dara, you have no case against Mr. Morgan. And after these two clowns get finished with it, you'll have even less. I suggest you cut your losses, let Jason go home. You've got 45 seconds to make up your mind. And what's supposed to happen after that? Justice Ward for Veronica Bowles. Hey, that TV newswoman? Oh, yeah. You see, the, the media is going to be all over this case. Veronica's looking for a new angle. Guess what, guys? You're it. Put the phone down. Now! You lower your voice, detective. It's been a long night. Jason. You okay? Came as soon as I heard. Why? What the hell are you doing here, lady? I am stopping a crime in progress. You are persecuting an innocent man. Tony and I heard about it over the car radio. They said there was a drive-by shooting and a man dead. What was I supposed to think? You're supposed to be thinking of yourself. I'm thinking of myself, Jason. What if it had been you? What would I have done? You know, you are the only friend I've got in this entire screwed-up town. You're the only person I can talk to. I can't even talk to myself anymore without knowing everything I say is a lie. What's Justice doing? Getting me released. But he's not doing a very good job of it, is he? You're still here? Jason, somebody tried to kill you. This is ridiculous. You know, you cannot arrest a man for being shot at. Everything is fine. Do they read you your rights? They're supposed to read you your rights. You he know? wouldn't need his damn rights if he hadn't got himself arrested. Move over, Thomas Jefferson. That man hates Jason. He's got it in for him, and that's why Jason's here. You know what? At the hospital, they're saying that he saved Nicholas Catherine's life. Okay, you know what? We're just trying to figure out what happened. Please give me a break. I know what every single one of you people in this town is like. Every one of you judging people on a scale from one to ten. Not based on who they are, but on what they do. And God forbid, they should slip to the bottom of the scale. Because it won't matter what kind of good they try to bring into this world, you will always treat them like a common criminal. Miss, you're right. You're right. We are treating your friend like a common criminal. You want to know why? Because he is a common criminal. Sarah. How much longer must we endure this nonsense? He's free to go. But not too far, Jason. Not too far. Oh. 
Thank you. You're more than welcome. Do me a favor. If you hear any more about how the kids from the parking lot still, you let me know. Get in touch with me. Yeah, I'll check into it. Where are you going? Sure you want to know? Apparently not. <clears throat> Carly? Yes, Just for a cab. I can't give you a ride home. Okay. Okay? And thanks for coming, but don't do it again. Whatever you say. Hey. Is it going to be okay? If he's very careful in selecting his friends. Yeah. 